Hello everyone. My name is Anushka Jain and I work as the Associate Counsel for Transparency and Right to Information at Internet Freedom Foundation. I welcome you all to the launch event of Project Panoptic. Before we move on to the main discussion, wherein we discuss whether facial recognition technology should be banned in India, I would like to give you a walkthrough of the project website that we've launched in the morning. The project website is hosted at panoptic.in. In the website, you can see a map which shows all the facial recognition systems that we have in India based on state. If you click on a particular state, you can scroll down and view individual projects that the state has. If you click on an individual project, you can access all the information that we have collected on that particular project. You can also click on these links, which will take you to the right to information requests that we have filed, as well as the case studies that we've done on that particular project. We also have links to government documents as well as media links so that you can get more information about the project. Other than state level projects, you can also view central level projects. By clicking on tracker, you can go back to the main page which shows all the facial recognition systems. This tab here shows the number of facial recognition systems that we have gotten the information for. This tab here shows how many RTIs we have filed. And this tab here shows the total financial outlay for all projects in the country. If you click on the report and FRT system tab, you can help us get more information by telling us if we've missed some aspect of any project that we've already had or some project that we have not included in the website. By clicking on the sign the petition tab, you can read the full petition by clicking on that button. This petition will be sent to the Honorable Prime Minister's office and you can sign the petition here. The Panoptic column tab hosts all the updates and case studies that we have done on projects that we have included in the website. By updates, I mean steps that IFF has taken, such as IFF's legal notice to the NCRB on the revised RFP for the National Automated Facial Recognition System. And by case studies, I mean individual case studies on specific projects wherein we have tried to give context to the RTIs that we've filed and the responses that we've received. If you go to the RTIs tab, you can look at all the RTIs that we've filed. The RTIs tab also shows individual information about the status of the RTI and when we filed the RTI. If you click on a particular RTI, you can also go back to the facial recognition system that it's linked to. In the about page, you can read about Internet Freedom Foundation, Project Panoptic, as well as know more about the team that was involved in creating the project. And finally, through the donate button, you can help IFF continue our fight against mass surveillance. If you've donated already, you can ask your friends to donate as well.